Welcome back to episode 13 of the Railroads Online Track Building Tutorials. And today we are at the last point where we were building on the previous episode and I've put in some nice little bridges here. And they're nice and smooth to the rest of the track, built the same way as we did in episode 11. And yes, they cover those rather deep sections. Now, the first thing we're going to do in today's episode is we're going to build a little bit of groundworks. We're going to do this section that runs past in front of logs drop off. Nicely. Back our way over there. It's all nice and level area here. Okay, now we're going to have to be very careful with our spacing here because we need to come to. about here. And then our second piece, next piece here, because we can't actually put it centre. If we put it centre, it's going to stick the groundworks out through the edge of the ramp. So we want to move it over to line up with the right hand side rail. And all the way along, make it line up with the right hand side rail. here on the end and then we'll come back out center again and all the way to the end and we're done and what that does as you can see it here we've kind of turned the groundwork so that it doesn't stick out but then we've got an extra little bit along this side here. And something else that I usually do along in front of here, just to make this little bit of track stand out better, is I'll grab some bridge decking. I think we may be a little bit low. Yes, it's not going to show through. And of course now it won't let me delete it. Oh, there's no wherever it's gonna let me delete it. There it goes. Let's try and get it to stand up a little bit taller. There. This one. This is Z randomization. That's what's causing this. And there it is, it sticks out again. And now it's high. <laughs> yes, this is Z randomization. Snap it to there, guaranteed that one Z randomized piece will be high. And it is. Yes, don't we just love Z randomization? putting it there will it still there we go now we've got it through and now we can snap it to the end 
and that just defines this area to be slightly different so it makes it easier to know when you're you can you can see better from the cabin of the locomotive as to when you've got the rail car stopped at the right spot okay and the next thing we're going to do today is build the Y which runs off to the smelter to the left and the freight depot and south side of the map on the right and we have finished all of these corners in here I did that off screen and to start off with we want to put in the correct switch because this one will be part of the Y and we want the stand on that side now we can use the spacing trick the same as we did at the logging camp which is two switch tracks and a cross track and then this cross track will be where the track runs across at So to mark the base of the Y, we will put in and connect onto each turnout, which will give us a nice curve around the bottom that will be around 8 to 9 degrees. And we'll put a cross track on the end. This marks where the line will start that runs this way. We can delete these ones that we use the spaces. And same thing again out the other side. Turn out it's going the opposite direction. track on the end which will be the start of that segment which connects back up to the track we've left off around the corner there and now we can remove these ones we use for the spacing out of the middle and the cross track and these two that we use for spacing now we can put the we've got positions marked where we can put in the switches at the other two corners of the Y now we want to have it on the not that one we want that one because we want the switch stand on the right and we want the turnout to come around the bottom side now we need some cross tracks on this side so that we can easily line them up Gives us somewhere to start the track off and somewhere to line up as we're coming in. And repeat the same thing on here, but mirrored back the other way. We want the switch stand on the left with the turnout on the left. cross tracks on either end and now we're ready to connect them together some cross tracks to start off where we're building on here and off to the normal rail and because we've measured this section we know that this corner here will be a 25 degree corner we're going to start off by easing in with a five and all the way up to 25 and hopefully if we've done it right all our measurements were correct with our pieces this will align to this switch down here And we are pretty close. 
So we can actually start backing out of the corner now. We'll go to uh, 15. Stretch it out and we want to go just slightly to the right hand side with a 5. And again just slightly to the right hand side. Zero, so that's got us pretty much lined in, so we'll turn off the... Actually, no, I think we'll leave the alt lock on. Because we've got a full piece of track we can put in here. Ugh. Well, that's not good at all. So let's put in a six. And finish it off. And as you can see, we've got a nasty little wobble in that. So what we do is we build backwards. And we snap to the control points of here. And we want it to be straight at that point. And now we'll start turning in with a five. And no, that's wrong as well. So we'll delete those bits of track. Return too soon. Oh, it doesn't matter which ones we delete. Because they'll get deleted as we build back the other way anyway. Turn on the outlook and we want to go straight and we want to go straight. And we want to go straight again. This one will start to turn in with the five. And this one we need to turn into a 12. And now we can connect all the way to the end over every single joint. It's building forwards and then building backwards around a corner to nudge the control points over to where we want them to go. And before we right click to end the spline, we choose to delete and delete the rails that are out in the middle. Right click and end the spline and now let's have a look at the curve. And we have got a flat spot here. So we need to build this one again. And that was my mistake because that should have went right the first go. Connect all the control points around to here. Now we'll turn on the alt lock because we need to correct where the track went. This one needs to be a 25 and it's this one that's the 25 that doesn't need to be. So we'll bring it out to say a 20. And then this one will bring reckons 19. And then this one here should be back down to the alt lock and snap back to every single control point again. Start clicking from far away so it won't place a piece of track. Run over the top of it and delete the track out of the middle. Right click and end the spline. Let's have a look at the curve now. And now we've got a smooth curve going all the way around the corner. And somehow we've ended up with a gap here, which I'm not sure how that's possible. It means we've gained length in the track some way. Now we'll do the same thing with the corner here around the bottom from this side over to the other side and 
And well, it's, it's widely known that this angle all the way through is about 8.5. But this last, and you can see it, it's about 12 feet of the end of the turnout is straight. So this actual curve here is about 10 or 11, 12 degrees, because it varies all the way around. But because of the, la the end, if you take the overall from the start to the finish, it is 8.5. So we, we know we can put in an 8.5 here and that will get us very, very close. Let's put in all our segments along the bottom side here. Feeling this will be the same thing again where we'll need to build boards and build backwards. Because as you can see, we've missed by tracks width. So we'll end the spine there. And we'll connect from this end and basically repeat the same thing back again. Oh, that could be it. We really should have started with a three. And we want to be 8.5. And let's build back the other way and see what we get. Oh, look at that. See, now, we, now we're slowly closing over the other track. Very difficult to get it to lay flat when you're building over the track like this. point quite a way yes and still not quite right other way off this time. So I'll delete this line. And we shall build again from this end. Put on our art look. And instead of going three for the first segment, we'll go four. And that will be a surprising amount of difference by the time we get to the other end. And all we need to do is connect to every control point as we build along. And as you can see, that's moving the track further and further and further to the left. Oh, missed the control point. Now we're reasonably close. We can run along and delete this rail now. Yes, this has become tedious when you need to build between points and you have to continually build backwards and forwards along the track until you can smooth the track to get into the spot where you need it to be. But this should be our last pass over it. Oh. 
there's the alarm going off telling me that I'm time's up. But we will continue this episode until we have this Y finished. Okay. First one needed to be four and connect to the control point. And then we need to go to eight, but this time we'll only go to 8.25. Because you'll barely tell the difference in 0.25 of a corner. Once we meet up, meet again with the. I see that one's on. And that's our, our point where we can turn off our alt lock and now connect back through to every single segment. end look off in the distance while we hold down the left mouse button on the delete and run along and delete the track out from in the middle and there we go we're done with the bottom curve and you can't tell the difference between a quarter of a degree when you look around a curve. And we can delete that one off of there. And that's two sides of the Y in. Now the third side's the hard side. And well, these ones were, didn't go in as easy as what they should have either. Oh, we have got more tracks over here but they are straight so we can just there we go as you can see duplicates they'll z fight they should not have been there because we wiped over with the delete tool and we've got them in this end as well Okay, and this here is left with the hard side to connect up. And I'm going to have an estimate that it's going to be about 15 or 16 degrees. So our first term will come in with a 5. Then I'm going to put in a 15. Out of a 16. Let's see how close we end up. I'm not too far off. Well, let's go back to that 15. And this. If it's good, oh, look at that. The hard side. <laughs> and I'm going to call that done. How is that possible that the two easy sides gave me the most trouble and the side that is actually the hardest to put in went in first go? That's called Murphy's Law. And there we go. We've built a nice symmetrical, and we'll get up here into the third person so we can see it from the top, a nice symmetrical Y with a curve on each side which is, it's actually hard to do at the moment because we've only got switch tracks that are a straight and a turnout instead of having an actual Y switch track. Uh, in the next episode, I will off camera first, I will connect this point here back around to the start track because this is just a simple curve around the corner. 
And then in the next episode will be the first time we get to fire up a locomotive and we'll go run some logs to the to the pond so that the sawmill has got some stock in it so we can drop it on the ground and know where the cranes are going to the cranes need to be built at and we can finish off the sawmill then all right thanks for watching bye bye